well as the best outside fighter from last season, Celine Marsh. They are the back-to-back -back defending champions to start, and they have been sort of on a rocky start with a 1-2 and two record. But hopefully they can get back on track in this game against these girls. Let's head on over to the green side of things for DLSZ. Now for DLSZ, of course, they played their last game against the the Ateneo Blue Eagles, where they won that game in decisive fashion. This is the first time that they faced off, and it was surely a match to be remembered for them. They are led by their four seniors, Katria, Julia Andres, Rian Cortez, their captain, and Isa Gamboa, with the sought-after Angel Senizal, their libero. So hopefully, hopefully they can translate that win from their last game to this one. Now let's check out the starters. And you can maybe both of us. First with Celine Martin, Riyad Olamo, Riyad Pancil, Pat Salazar, Herbin Miranda, Lotzer Nechek, and the libero, Icy Cepada. Now for De La Salle Zobel, we have Rian Cortez, Julia Andres, Katria, Sam Marzan, Isa Gamboa, Chloe Belen, and Angel Senezal. Pretty much your usual starters for both coaches. So we hope to see a good match here today's game. Starting today's match will be the junior, Lot Cernetje. Thank you for joining us at Filipinas Live. This is set number one. And you versus Lazar. <laughs> Lotzer Nesha would be serving. Good serve right there. A bit of a misreceive. The limb. And yeah, that's too short as any. Gets out the gate. On fire up here. 1 0. Let's see if they can keep this up. Of course, they want to bounce back from their last game where they lost to their rivals, USD. In a way, this is also a rivalry match. Uh, Della Zalzabel was the one to end the 5 feet straight. As we see a bit of an over receive there, Belen sends that over. Miranda. And miscommunication there by Marshman on the ceiling. That is huge for the right there. One point to Bell on the right down here. Picking up where he left off, that's up in One of their graduating seniors, Julian Dress, will be serving. They're starting middle blocker. Good serve there, received by Icy. They'll have a free ball. Belen. A, a tip over by Cortez, and the crowd goes wild here in the Abbotson University gym. The support for this Lavelle team is insane.
this is a rebuilding team last last season they went one and ten and hopefully they want to go there now and ooh, it cost the error there a little too short on the serve as Julian just takes a breather. <laughs> Yet Maxil will be serving, one of the better middle blockers to serve this season. Good receive there, Galan. Galhana three ball, almost a point. Sir Legend. Good receive there, the Libero. Set up to Cortez. The set just a little too far for Cortez. She's not able to convert. Three and the captain. Of this Sobel squad. Until it's still in the service line. Good serve there. Good receive. Belen. Yeah, and that's a point off the block for Sam Parson. You can finish the game for this Sobel team. They're proud from their coaching staff. Really dropping off of their players. As their captain, we have to pass the officer. And that would be a service ace, service ace by Ria Cortez. And though the count of ELSV is up 43. Oh, 
And with that, Coach Jeremiah Monreal will go time out. Look at that block once again at Talavera. Right place at the right time. Stick with us on Filipino side. Serving will be Isa Gamboa, one of four seniors in this lineup, all of them playing right now on the court. That serve is a little strong again as Angel Senezal will come back in as Coach Cox. Probably telling her to calm down. 
as you all reach your master's rates. Oh, that is a service error. You see, she apologizes for Gerard, apparently. That is not the norm for Pat Salazar, who, who in past games has been known as a very deadly server. Their center, Chloe Belen, will be serving. Trying to get on a run here to salvage set number one. And the serve is once again out. Right here, DLSZ, you just really need to calm down. You know that you're over eager, you know that you're excited, but the nerves can't get ahead of you. Just like what Coach told me earlier. It's all about confidence and really just turning that promise in, turning that potential into promise. Great to see Belen will send out Cortez. A bit of a miss received there by Miranda and a free ball, Belen. Alemania almost great recovery by a new Marsh back row. One more try, Alemania. Cerdeche through the middle blockers. That's her specialty. I love Cerdeche. She's just a junior, but packed so much power into that spike. Serving will be senior Kirill Miranda. Their starting setter. A bit of an over receive, but Belen makes the most out of it. The blockers were there. Sepada, back row. Oh, and that touches the line. That would be a point for Enyu. They're currently in the lead, 20 to 8, 5 points away from ending set number 1. If you're just joining us, this is still round one of eliminations. They still have a full round two to go. So this is just about building confidence and getting off on the right track. As well, it sends out to Cortez. Miss received there by Isis As the ball hits the roof here, which results in an automatic point for the LSD. The super sub double A Iceland Alemania will be serving. She was put in to help on the receiving department. Jump serve. Mm -hmm. Not quite there, just hitting the top of the net. In a lot of cases, that will go in, but I think she did not put enough spin on that one for that to make it across. Here comes Walter Nature. She is just a junior. Cortez! I spoke to Chloe a while ago and she really emphasized confidence and being being grounded to what they know. They know what to do, they know how to execute it, they just need to translate that into the games. As a good serve there, Miranda sends out the marsh. And Marsh gets it through the middle blockers. Celine Marsh just a firewoman peg here, putting out the flames of the LSD as soon as they get on that run. <laughs> Service with Bien Bansil, one of their middle blockers. Three to the hands of Marzan. Marzan will send that back. Oh, a miscommunication there by Longsir Neche. Then he hit back to. You can tell they were just waiting who was going to get that ball. As Cortez, of course, the sister of Raven Cortez, who won yesterday. Let's see. <laughs> Carry that out today. Miranda to Marsh. Cross mark, no good. Belen. Tip shot. This will be another chance for you. Olano gets that. 
Cortez just not ready for that one. And Olano, of course, an expert. All the same double substitution for DLSD as Julian Mindanao will check in. Subbing in for, for Rian Cortez. And Sabina Valdez, one of their younger setters, will be subbing in for Chloe Galec. You know, these, these times are very crucial, though it's only two points remaining for NUNS. This is time for the girls in green to rest and hopefully compose themselves to come back in set number two. Another almost misreceive there. Icy Sabada will send up. Miranda. Oh, Salazar was red. They'll send that over. That's a free ball. Miranda. Marsh. Right in the hand to Senezal. Mindanao. Mindanao. That's fine by him. He sails out. And Edward has one point away from ending this set. They are at set point with their captain, Kian Olano, serving. Let's see if Kian can end this right here. Kian Olano with the serve. Great serve. Senizal just a little too tentative on that one and they'll get a free ball. Sepada, Miranda, to Pat Salazar. She's saying it's a check and the ref will give it to them. That is that is set point for NUNS. They have taken set number one, 25 to 11, in convincing fashion. Let's take a look at that again. Pat Salazar, she definitely knew that that was a check ball as we head over to set number two. Let's check out some highlights from set number one. with their four starters, with their four senior starters, mainly Katria, Julia Andes, Ria Cortez, and Isa Gamboa. And that girl, Chloe Delen, the starting setter. Nice serve there, received by Marsh. Miranda, Olamo. The blockers ready for Cortez. Good reception by Dailisa. Marsh. This is quite a long rally. Olano blocked by Cortez. We'll try again, Dailisa. Oh, they weren't ready for that. And I don't think Den was either, but they will take that point. And UNS starting off 1 0. Let's take a look at that. Having to adjust Den Dailisa. Chloe Cortez just not ready for that one. That would be a service ace by Den Dailisan. Inside office there. Two points to start off this match. Let's see if they can make that three in a row for the girls in white. That's a little too long. As DLSC gets their first point. You know they want to bounce back from that set number one. Definitely a point off there as head coach Jeremiah Moreno go. That 
that serve is short by double A Iceland Alemania. Coach is not happy with that. He will not call it by mouth though. He will save that one for later in the set. Vien Mansil will be serving. She looks to be on track for a best middle blocker award. Let's see if she can continue yeah, as she does. That will be another service ace for NU. I believe that would be their sixth for the match. NU and has just such a great serving team all around the board. You don't really see teams like this very often, but all across their lineup, they have great servers. And that is due to mainly the coaching staff. Almost another service ace there as Marzan sends that over. Miranda will adjust the Marsh. Gets it through the blockers. Silly Marsh, too powerful for that. That's why she is the best outside spiker from season 85. Pansil will still be serving one of eight seniors from this lineup. We've been seeing that recently. Once there's a service ace, the next year is either over or under. That's a bit of a mental adjustment they'll have to make as Julia Andres looks to capitalize on that mistake. A nice serve by Julia. Marsh Miranda. Well telegraphed there by Dila Z. Marzan. Black. By Pat Salazar. Pat Salazar, one of the most one of the more active middle blockers here this season. When I spoke to Kion Olamo, the younger day, she told me that though she is the reigning MVP, she doesn't put pressure on herself to win another. And she knows that it's all about the team and it's all about the championship. Let's see if they can inch their way back into that championship point as Ria Cortez makes that crucial mistake sailing out of bounds. It seems that the substitutions by Coach Norman Miguel have been paying off. Then Dalisan has two points. Nice serve by Olano. Almost a serve. That will be a service ace. Key and Olano so deadly from that service line. You know she's just happy to serve as we get another timeout from Coach Jeremiah Monreal. <laughs> Welcome back. You are watching us on the Philippines Live app available for Philippines everywhere. Set number one going to the National University Lady Bulldogs. Let's see if the Lazelle Zobel can catch up in this. But NU is leading 8 to 2. Olamo with the serve. Good serve. Almost another serve as ace. Don't send that over. That's a free ball. Miranda Salazar cannot complete the kill. Miranda. Marsh through the middle blocker. She's been getting that all day. Celine Marsh. Let's take a look at that again. Celine Marsh going through the middle blockers. They just weren't there in time, and Celine Marsh taking advantage. Kain din na blapang toilet sa kain. The captain of this back-to-back -back defending champion squad. A miss received there by Marzan. They'll send that. That will be a free ball. Miranda. Salazar with a quick. And they score. Again, Miranda with the connection. From the middles. As we see a substitution. Sam Marzan will check out. For Malia Jose. This is the first time we're seeing Malia Jose in this matchup. Let's see if she can make an impact. There she is on your screens, Malia Jose. Another free ball by Andy. They are feasting on this marsh down the line. That is a little too wide, and that will go out for the LSD. So Marsh laughing. She apologizes to Coach Norman Miguel. She knows that it's her bad. But that is the specialty of the house for her. Is captain Ria Cortez serves a bit of an over receive there by Icy. 
Miranda having to make do with that, and she'll get the point. You can see they're laughing for that one. They were not ready, but they'll take it anyways. NUNS currently on a 7-0 run. DLSE trying to break that run, and of course, come back for set number two. Great serve by Marsh. Ooh, Jose with the... <laughs> Over the seat there, just slipped in her hand. She wasn't ready for that. A bit of a miscommunication between her and Libero Angel Sinizan. Celine Marsh will be serving. When I talked to Celine, she told me that her goal for this con for this season would be to win MVP. And just as I say that, Celine Marsh with a service error. Coach Norman contemplating a call timeout, but he chooses not to. Tells his girls to calm down and relax from the sidelines. As Malia Jose will be serving, she is there. Substitute outside hitter. One of the younger players on this DLSU team. Jump serve received by Sapada. Miranda. Oh, Dailisa. Bringing the power of that. What a spike by the Dailisa. When these NU girls hit, they really hit with purpose, as you saw earlier. Speaking of purposeful hitters, almost an ace there. That is out for Alemania. A little, a little bit too strong on that, and she knows it too. NUNS now up by 10 points. And that serve is uh, just unfortunate. They were on the goal, but hopefully we can see the girls and green come back from that one. Coach Norman Miguel, former Kyrie Chargers assistant coach on your screens, urging his girls to relax. As on the service line would be fellow senior Isa Gamboa. Isa, the only 5-5, is their starting middle blocker. And just as they say that, Tendai Lisa gets that one through the blockers. Tendai Lisa, Vietnam, Pat all of them just so powerful when they attack. As we see the substitution, Sabine Valdez will be checking in for the first time in this one. Sabine would be a setter for this squad. Looking to leave her mark, hopefully ignite some instant offense for the girls in green. Nice receive there, nice set. Tips that over, I see. Then, oh, and that hits the roof, and that will be another point for those watching. If the ball does hit the roof here, the ceiling in the Adamson University gym, that is an automatic point by the robot. Thus, the point earlier. Serving would be Kirill Miranda, filling in from graduating senior last year, Abby Gono. Alango will tip that. Ball still alive, they'll get a free ball. Marsh, Miranda, oh, Bunsi! You can see a little bit of confusion, but this rally is still alive. Valdez. And DLSC converts on that one, scoring on a long rally. That's got to feel good for these girls. Let's check that one again. Nice set by Valdez. Alemania just getting that through the blockers. Valdez with the serve. Miranda to Olamo. Tips that one. Kiki Olama just too smart. That's why she's the reigning MVP. With instincts like that, usually at this level, it is about hitting, hitting, and hitting strong. But the end girl showing that they don't just have that power, they've got finesse as well. Speaking of power, that is a little too powerful for Denda Lisa. She has been having a bit of a struggle here on the service line. But Coach Norman will keep her there. The LSC slowly gaining momentum. 
Let's see if they can keep this one up. Alemania will serve short, and you will, of course, take that. As the NU crowd here is alive, they are cheering for the girls, the defending back to back chaplains. But still, good serve. Valdez, Julia Andres will get that one. Great, great setup by Valdez. Valdez really proving to be a super sub here for Coach Jeremiah. Let's take a look at that set. Kirill Miranda just not ready to receive that as they score. As we see for the first time, Priya Abeliar will check in for DLSZ. And Nat Tizon, one of the power spikers, will check in for every NS. Nat Tizon, of course, known for being a super sub, super scorer here for Coach Norman. As Abeliar will serve. A little too cold, that serve will sail out as the girls in white will have a chance to retaliate. Coach Jeremiah, of course, telling, her, telling his girls to just calm down and be confident. Let's see if they can focus that energy. A miss received, and that would be another service ace for Kian Olajo. Her fifth of the game. Let's take a look at that. Great form on that semi running serve. As Senizal has been targeted for that, but she has just been having problems receiving Kian serves. Let's see if Kian will target her once more. Goes to Jose. Valdez. Ooh, well set that one over. That will be a point on the air for NUNS. They are four points away from taking this set number two. In decisive fashion. Samar and Sam will sell out for Jose. Marzan, one of the four graduating seniors for this squad, but one of the girls with the most potential, according to coach Jeremiah. Kian with a float serve that will go over. They'll have another chance. Miranda, Tizor picking up. Where she left off, Natizon instant offense. Great spike there by Natizon. Not one of the eight seniors, but of course she's coming off the bench for this squad. But that's what she does. Similar to their game against UPIA, she came off the bench and she scores this. That's what she does. Olamo, another good serve. Almost a, that is a service ace. Cortez and Valdez. Just not being able to communicate on that, on who will receive that ball. DL, DLSZ almost losing their chance here to take set number two. As NUNS, headed by that girl Pat Salazar, are two points away from taking set number two. Valdez, Cortez, makes do with that. Berata, Salazar! Back row attack by Delisa. Marzal, block. Cortez. Cortez with the tip. Smart move by Rian Cortez. Great tip by Rian Cortez. I spoke to her a while ago. She is a captain for this squad. Let's see. As we look at that, just a smart play tipping that over. Being the captain, she wants to bring a gentle approach as an approachable athlete for, these, for this young De La Salle squad. Miranda will send out the T-Zone with the tip, and she scores off the tip. Very poetic. Sort of telling Rian, I got you back to that one. And the T-Zone goes for her power, showing that she got finesse as well. She is at set point. Not T-Zone looking to make this 2-0. For NUNS. Great sir. Valdez gets that to the blockers. Miranda, Dailisa. They were ready. Valdez, back row attack. Great dig. Salazar. One more try. Dailisa. 
And that will be it. Set number two goes to NUNS. Great spike by Den Lysan. Really making an impact in this set number two. As well as the rest of the girls in white. Let's take a look at the highlights from set number two. taking a commanding two-set lead against the girls in green. They are the back-to-back -back defending champions winning six out of the seven titles. And the other team, the champions of the season 81, they're the ones who broke the five-beat streak of NU. So you know that there is some history with this. As we head into set number three, both these programs have definitely made their mark in the pros and on the collegiate level. Justine Hazoreno, Angel Canino, Miguela Belen, and the like coming from these matchups. So we could be seeing the future of Philippine volleyball right here, right now, because this is where stars are born after all. Lots of natural after taking a break will be some back in. Sharp serve. Valdez to Isa. Valdez, they'll have to take that for, as a free ball. I see. Miranda, the quick works for them. Kareel Miranda really activating those middle blockers. Pat Salazar and Dien Batsil. She's had a few struggles, of course, filling in from their senior who graduated. But I believe Kareel Miranda is doing a great job activating their whole squad here. As Valdez sends a good response to Neto. This ball still alive. Miranda. The quick block. Valdez. Oh, through the middle blockers. Alemania making her back down in this game. Iceland Alemania. Still small. Packing a punch on that. Going through. Yes, I'm Moving to coach Jeremiah that maybe she should be starting after all. Great serve by Valdez. Almost a misreceive. And that will be a service aid is Kiel Olavo. Not able to handle that on that wisp by Dan. Let's take a look at that. Great serve. Cross court. Just laughing about it, keeping things loose as Gesh Moseha checks in. And just as she checks in, she scores. Gesh, the other senior from this lineup that isn't starting, Gesh looking to make her presence felt. Great spike by Gesh. As Gesh Batsil will serve, these middles for MU are known for their long service rallies. Let's see. And that will sail out. Jim Mansell will be taking a quick breather for them. Serving would be the seller. As you see, Catrio on your screen. Great serve there, very sharp. Oh. Mutika na malunod. Cortez. Just not enough butter on that. Nice try. Trying to do cross guard. Cutting the line. If you're a coach, you know this is an encouraging display against the defending champs. But they have got to do more if they want to force more sets in this game. 
Pachin and that girl, Angel Senezal. Valdez. Petria. Miranda. Yay! Blocked! Back row attacks in that check. They're able to save it. There's another long rally, Miranda. Yes, this up! And they save the ball! This ball's still alive! Down the line, Jedi! I see sends into Yesh! Who gets it to go? Yesh Noseha ending that rally for NUNS. They want to finish it in this third set. Look at that! Yesh Noseha cross court straight into the hands of Angel Senesal. Great serve there. Oh, that will be out. Kian Olano, a rare service mistake. And this gives the chance for the girls in green to come back and hopefully take the lead in this one. They are hoping to force another set and another one to get the win. DLSC coming from a straight sets win against their rivals, the Ateneo Blue Eagles. That set a little too low. Valdez, the Cortez with the tip. Oh, they get it. The LFC is on a run, and the crowd here is absolutely loving it. Three and Cortez a while ago, a little shady, but she's getting her footing in this one today. Really leading by example, their captain. Now serving would be the 5 5 middle blocker. Isa Gamboa that sails out. A costly mistake there as they were in the midst of a run. Hopefully they can maintain some composure and I'm sure Coach would like them to maintain that composure. Serving for NU. Yes. Good serve. Cross court almost through the blockers. Look, sir, Nacho doesn't get it. The VLSC defense has been on fire in the set. And just as I say that, they're going for the attack. Miranda, back row, they're ready. Valdez sends Cortez. What a rally. Back row, that Kiano Lago. Paul will sail out of bounds. And Reyes takes the lead. This set three really shooting up. Let's take a look at Miranda sends up back row with the MVP, Kian Olamo. Nice try in the reception there. Good serve. Valdez tries the quick. Play on. Miranda. Salazar. Sorry, Monster Neche. From the arms of the middle blockers, will score to put an end on this run. Yes, Masaya. And that girl, Pat, lots of energy on your screens. Hoping to end this in set number three, as that one will go over. Miranda. Look, great instincts. Oh! They don't get to handle that, and DLSG is in this set. Look at that block by Chloe. Their captain, Cortez, will serve. And that will save it. Great serve right there by Rhea Cortez. She gets a service ace, and DLSG is now tied. The De La South team, known for their diesel mentality. Let's see if the diesel heats up for this girl squad. Another service ace. Back to back service ace, Rhea Cortez. Rhea Cortez, the top scorer for the girls in green. Let's see if she can get up another one. 
I see a bit of a Mr. C, but don't make do. Valdez. And that sails out. Another point for DLSD. This is what Coach Jeremiah was talking about. Good confidence. They know they can do it. They just need to prove it and show that they can. Rian Cortez leading the charge for her squad. Great serve, Miranda. Look, gets that through the middle, Doctors. That's the difference between this back-to-back -back defending champion squad. You can see they're composed. There's no panic. They have been in these situations before. Served by Salazar Valdez. To Julia Andres. Julia with another point. DLNC is alive and kicking. will be serving as DLSG has taken a two-point lead. Great serve, Miranda. That is all. They're asking for a check. That will not be given. DLSG up three. Coach Ronald Miguel will call timeout for the NUNS. Lady Bullpups. If you're just joining us, Thank you for joining us on the Philippines Live app as DLSG Team Diesel has come alive and they are challenging the NUNS Nazareth School in this set number three. Serving the small but terrible Katria. Float serve, great serve, icy. Backer of the lock. They're ready. Valdez. They're asking for a check. The point will go to NUNS. Great timeout by Coach Norman Miguel, halting that momentum. You know the NU squad has been shot with two straight, with two losses in this season. Coach Norman told me that it is in fact a blessing in disguise, so they can focus less on the street and focus more on playing their game. And just as I say that, the nerves starting to trickle in. DLSC now up three once again. As graduating senior Julia Andres will serve. Coach Monreal giving instructions to her to his seniors. Great serve. Miranda. Two lots in that chain. Doesn't get a clean hit. They'll send that over. This would be Kiyonolao. Great instance by Cortez. Oh, and that sails out of bounds. Nice try by Isa Gamboa. And you not yet being threatened so far in this match, except for this set. Let's see how they respond. Katria has been a superstar in this set. There's a defense and offense, the one, two. Miranda. Look, Valdez back row to Cortez. Yeah. Off the net, Rian Cortez scores once again. Rian Cortez showing signs of a young Catolatino. As Valdez has really been key for this squad. Great serve, Miranda. Hola. Received by Valdez. Miranda will send out Noceja. The refs will say that that is in. And we're getting a lucky one stopping that momentum. As we see, look at that cross court finish. Sailing in, that is a good call. That ball is in. Angels and Nizel, the starting libero has been checked back in. Good receive. Valdez, Gamboa. They'll have to send that as a free ball. Valdez, Cortez. 
gets it to go. Rhea Cortez is on fire in this game. And her family is absolutely loving it. The Cortez family looking for back-to-back -back wins starting yesterday and now today. Jump serve. That could have been out. Miranda Olano is read by the defense. Tria. That is a net touch. The LSU is now up by four. DLSD showing some fight as they look to extend this game. Great serve. Miranda, the quick that will go out. A bit too strong for Pat Salazar. And DLSD is taking a commanding five point lead. This is their largest lead of the game as Coach Moran Miguel will call time out to follow his girls. Stick with us on Philippines Live. DLSZ taking a commanding five point lead. They look to extend this game. Great serve once again. Olano, good eye. Trio, just too short. And Renes successfully faulting that run by Zabel. The middle blockers of Zabel have just been on fire, reading the defense in the sub number three. As the reigning best outside spiker, Celine Marsh, checks in. Keep your line up. Will serve. Another good serve. Valdez will have to chase for it. That will be free ball. I see. Kareem, good. Celine Marsh does not get it. Valdez, block. One more time for Chloe. Yes, the ball is still alive. Celine Marsh, good eye. And that is the De La Salle Swagger. Just like slaying out by Rian Cortez. Let's take a look at that block. Rian, right place, right time as she stares down Nazareth School. That's the confidence flowing with these girls that they are known for ever since their early days. Oh, and that will be an error on the part of DLSZ. A positional error being called out by the refs. Holding that momentum. Another lucky break by NUNS. And that girl, Celine Marsh. Let's see if Celine can make an impact in this. Shark serve. Valdez to Cortez with the tip. Olano block. Great recovery. Tria. Oh, Tria. Smart play. And we will see the LSE take a commanding five point lead. Look at that smart play by Cat Tria. Cat is seeing the hole in the defense and taking advantage. And their captain, Rian, definitely hopes to take advantage of that. Great serve. Miranda just Great dig. But that will sail out of bounds. Great instinct though by Rian. As Senizal is checked back in for Sabel. Salazar will be serving. Float serve there. Oh, that will be a free ball. Miranda. And they say that goes out of bounds for Dead Batsil. DLSG keeping their lead. Coach Norman reminding them to stay calm. They can't get frustrated. They just have to execute. 
great serve there by Cap. Miranda. Good luck. Luck gets that one. From the middle blockers. Luck serve that just so powerful. It is scary that she is just a junior. And speaking of juniors, we have Sabine Valdez as well. Tulo Miranda, a graduating senior. Part of the Power 8, as they like to call themselves. Great serve. A little sharp under the receive. And that would be point for NUNS. NUNS leaping their way back into this one. You can't count out the back-to-back -back defending champions. And Coach Jeremiah is not going to be taking any chances calling a timeout with his team of three. Welcome back. DLSZ has been on fire in this game. As Celine Marsh and the rest of the Nazareth School look to maintain the three center. But that girl Katria will not let DLSZ die. Miranda will be serving. Great serve. Valdez. What a spike. I see it. Has been instant offense for a good share by it. Stints the center center. Iceland just 5 3, but definitely makes up for that power. Serving would be Julia Andres. Another great serve. Miranda Olano gets that one through. We're seeing a little bit more emotion there from the menu side as they hope to get on a rally to end this one in three sets. Lutzer Natcha, one of the lone juniors, will be serving. Good serve. Received by Tria. Valdez. Picato. Almost. Oh, they're not able to save that. And he is now just two points away. This is the kind of action that we expect from Edu and Telesau. Whether it be in basketball, pro volleyball, or even in the collegiate level. And that would be a service ace. Look, sir, Natchez. Katria, just a little too tentative on that. She can't doubt herself now as the lead trickles down to one. Lotzer Neche looking to tie this game. They want this win. Let's see if they get it. Another miss receive for the save set. Valdez will send that over. I see Miranda Olago. Straight at set is all. Kiki Olago. Call her MVP. Let's take a look at that. Monster Spider right there. Straight to Angel Senezal. It is now tied. Oh, a costly error there. NUNS has taken the lead. Rian telling Valdez, calm down, relax, we can do this. Coach Jeremiah will not take any chances. He will call a timeout for his girls, Big Green. NUNS showing that championship composure, crawling back from a five point lead. As Katria and the rest of the Isabel girls looking to keep that hope alive for this game. Serving would be Lotzer Natcher. Great serve. Valdez. Back row, Cortez gets it! Rian Cortez has been phenomenal in this set number three. Send that. 
Valdez. Olago. Oh. That's a facial, but they will survive. Marsh. Through the middle blocker. Celine Marsh will score. As we see, Nazis on one of their finishers sub in for Bietmansil. And UNS can smell the victory. They were just three points away as Nazis are the super sub will come in to serve. Great serve. Valdez. Good. Oh, that will hit the roof. As Alemania will score again for this DLS squad. As Alina de los Santos, the substitute leader, will check in. Katrina subs out for Sam Marzan. Sam has made a strong impact in the minutes that she's had. Let's see if she can contribute as the LSD is now tied with NUNS. Great serve. Olamo will score. Kiki Olamo will not let her team lose her set number three. That's why she is their captain. Kiki Olamo showing that composure, the confidence. Down five earlier there, now up one, two points away from ending the set. Valdez, Barzan, blocked. Recovery, no. Anyone else is upset and match point. Let's take a look at that great block. The blockers of Henry just great timing all around. As Tigi Olang Wilson at match point for the NU Nazareth School. Good serve. A bit of an over receive. This could be a free ball. Miranda to Marsh. And that's it. Everyone else takes this game. What a showing for the girls in green. But that championship composure is making the difference for NU. If you're, if you're Del Isle, you have nothing to be ashamed of. This set just proved that you are one of, if not the best. And that program is definitely alive and kicking for them. Congratulations to the NU NF Nazareth School. They are now 2 and 2. As they take this decisive win, it's three straight sets against the results of that. A great showing from everyone around. This is something that can definitely build on in both teams for Coach Norman. And